Hey YouTubers, it's obscenely hot out here today. Uh, I haven't done many gardening videos because it's really a rebuilding year for me and I've been trying to get wood uh, mulch. Um, yeah, uh, I've been doing these uh, permaculture polycultures uh, based on some trees and just all kinds of stuff. I've, I've got a video about halfway done. I've been doing a bunch of editing and making pretty pictures for you and stuff. Show you the whole plan because uh, I got about uh, oh geez at least 5,000 square feet of gardening space I'm working on. I did get my hands on some mulch so that's good and I've started spreading it. Anyhow I wanted to show you my uh, permaculture mini swales that I've been doing. Permaculture people use these swales to catch all the water from the rain and then uh, charge it into the ground. They're usually put on contour. In other words, they follow the lay of the land and they're level at the bottom of the swale. I've been using a, what they call an A-frame level to find the contours across my yard. And uh, I just got a, anything to weigh it down here. Just some sticks nailed together. It only took me about five minutes to put together. And now uh, they're easy to find the uh, level on them. On a spirit level, if there's a little hump in the middle, they're going to teeter-totter and you can't find levels. So, um, all you got to do with these, I got a mark here on this cross piece, and uh, as you spin it around, you can find where. between the legs of this A-frame. And then all I do is mark the end of the leg and connect the dots. And I've got the contour all the way across. I actually got some video last spring after a rain of my uh, mini swales, which are a lot smaller than uh, permaculture swales usually are. But as you can see, I caught a lot of water. Uh, in my front yard, I got about 5,600 square feet of space. So if I can catch all the water that falls on that, I've calculated out that it's about 3,500 gallons of water per every inch of rainfall that falls. And if I can use the swales to uh, charge that water back down into the ground and keep it there, then uh, I'm doing pretty good. Uh, and I've filled all these swales with wood chips. For you uh, hugelkultur folks, maybe you could call it a upside down hugelkultur bed? I don't know. And uh, I started digging them last spring. You can see, let's see, I don't know if I can get the camera back far enough. But you can see one going around that way. Anyhow, yeah, I promised a friend of mine over on Facebook that I'd show him a quick video of them today, and I just wanted to show him, or you guys, everybody, um, it hasn't rained in over 30 days to speak of, and that's what it looks like down in these mini swales. And, uh, so there you go, Chad. Welcome to my messy, weedy garden that doesn't have enough mulch on it and tomatoes going nuts and 
horseradish is doing fine. And a few bug bites of grasshoppers have been horrible. So anyhow, I'll uh, talk to you guys later. We'll get through this.